Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Last night at Live Casino Hotel, I officially ended my year-long leadership Anne Arundel stint. I guess I passed because they gave me a plaque and a pin. But man, I'll tell you what a great program that is. If you have ever a desire to know more about our community, and I'm really talking about a deep dive into our community Definitely give it some consideration. It takes time and effort, but it's well worth it. And the nosh last night at the Hall, exclamation point, at Live, exclamation point, Casino Hotel was fantastic. And I'm guessing that David Cordish has a thing for exclamation points. I'm not sure. Okay, so my calendar does say that it's Tuesday, so let's get into it, shall we? Some good COVID news. Yesterday was the second day in a row with no deaths in Maryland due to COVID. The number keeps getting better and better. Now for some bad COVID news. There are fraudsters out there. Yesterday, Governor Hogan said that they have flagged more than 500,000 fraudulent claims since May in the unemployment system. That's only six weeks, and the numbers appear to be going up each week. And I do sort of hope that these are truly fraudulent and not legitimate people still waiting on their benefits. I am hearing story after story on how fouled up the Beacon system is and how non-responsive the Maryland Department of Labor has become. I know for a fact that many people have had existing benefits declined and had to refile as if it was the first time they filed for unemployment, only to be told that they are ineligible. I hope they get it straightened out soon because with the lifting of the eviction protection shortly, we're going to have a huge problem on our hands. If Governor Hogan doesn't straighten it out by the end of his term, and gosh, I hope he does, Democrat John Barron might. Barron is a nonprofit executive and former Obama appointee, and he has said he is running for governor in 2022. His platform will be education, earnings, and health care. And Barron's going to be joining Comptroller Peter Francho, former Attorney General Doug Gansler, former PG County Executive Rush Sharon Baker, and Wes Moore, who have all filed to run as Democrats for governor. And there will be more, I am sure, before the ride is over. On the Republican side, the only candidate so far is current Commerce Secretary Kelly Schultz. Lieutenant Boyd Rutherford bowed out, and he is a smart man. I have a few cool events for your calendars. Up first, this weekend at the Annapolis Town Center on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., they're having a boutique fest. I didn't know quite what this was, but it's going to be featuring some of their permanent boutiques as well as a lot of pop-up boutiques that are going to come in. They've got a charcuterie pop-up, another cheese boutique, a baby boutique, and many more. It is free, and many of them will have free gifts for you when you do make a purchase. The town center has really been kicking it up a notch or two of late. And with True Food Kitchen opening next month and the Tuscan Shop House later in the year, I'll tell you, I'm in. And on Monday the 28th, it is the third anniversary of the shooting at the Capitol Gazette and the dedication of the Guardians of the First Amendment Memorial on Compromise Street. The city is expecting a large crowd and plans to close Compromise Street from 6.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So you will not be able to get into town via the Eastport Bridge, but you can get out of town via the bridge from Duke of Gloucester Street. Newman Street will also be closed along with the three parking lots in the area, the Donner Lot, the Basil Lot, and Annapolis Elementary School Lot. So if you are driving, be warned. But if you can, please come down to the dedication. It is at 10 a.m. and would be well worth your time. And the last final event, the 4th of July will be huge here in the city of Annapolis. But if you want an alternative, the Bowie Bay Sox are not playing baseball, but they are hosting a concert and huge fireworks display. The concert is by DC Fusion with a full two-hour set, followed by some incredible fireworks. And the Bay Sox always put on great fireworks regardless of the 4th of July. Tickets are 15 bucks a pop for adults, and adult is considered anybody 13 and older. Kids 3 to 13 can get in for 10, and under 3 is is free. You can get your tickets at baysocks.com. And the concert gets underway at 7 p.m. on the 4th. Goes for about two hours. Figure fireworks 9 15, 9 30. 
And hey, as we wrap it up, let's give away some stuff like we did last Tuesday. I have a few gift cards to Mother's Peninsula Grill and Caliente Grill. And what the heck, let's throw in some Bay Sox tickets as well. Just email or Twitter DM me and let me know the new place that you can hear the DNB. We'll give away a bunch for the correct answers. And here's a hint for you. It just started last week and we've mentioned it a few times. My email is info at ionanapolis.net and Twitter DM is at ionanapolis. Good luck. I hope you win. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to the sponsor for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and to the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company. And Rehab to Perform is getting ready to open up at 1750 Forest Drive very shortly. All righty, now hang tight. George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather, and he will be here right after we hear from Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one-third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a wasted. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, June 22nd. Yesterday got the work week kicked off in hot and humid fashion, but today should deliver lower temps with a greater chance of rain. Look for highs today in the low to mid 80s, with some rain likely as well as a cold front passes through from west to east. To be followed by great conditions the next two days with sunshine and 75 to 80 degrees on Wednesday, followed by more sun and low to mid 80s Thursday, ahead of more warmer weather Friday through Sunday with highs in the mid to upper 80s each day, along with daily chances for showers and storms as we get through the last weekend of June 2021. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe, and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC. MDVA weather in the Apple or Google app stores and also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day by visiting DC so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. Hi, I'm Christy Neidhart. My team and I often get asked, is now a good time to make a move? The answer is absolutely. With interest rates the lowest they've been in nearly 50 years and inventory in high demand, now is the time to let us earn your trust. Whether you're looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, my team and I will guide you through the process and find exactly what you are looking for. Serving people is a passion of mine, and it's what my team does best. That's the Neidhart difference. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit rehab performcom You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. 
And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This daily news brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.